Hey hey everyone, Crawlopix here. And today we are continuing with this Great Wall diamond painting. So yeah, let's just keep going. Can't believe how fast it's going really. getting in quite a bit of practice with the three placer tips so I'm feeling a bit better about it. It doesn't look so jagged anymore and I don't have to go back and correct the diamonds as often <laughs> so that's good. Great wall fact! So even though it branches out in areas, it has a total length of over 21,000 kilometers or 13,000 miles. So that's, that's a pretty long wall. <laughs>
I see that people are getting pretty creative with their leftover diamonds uh, from diamond paintings. And it's been really awesome to see people making pens and shirts and cards and stuff. I tried it, um, but I didn't do very well, so <laughs> I, I'm still stuck at the drawing board stage. So it's nice to see what people have come up with though. Very interesting. Now, if we can only come up with some way um, to reuse or recycle all of the pins and trays, <laughs> I'm thinking they should make it as a option to select when you're purchasing your diamond painting. I'm so glad that it's finally starting to warm up here in Australia. I've been so cold this winter. <laughs> but uh, like last week, the weather was kind of playing a trick on us. It was really warm one day, and then that night it dropped maybe... So it was 20 degrees Celsius during the day, which was pretty decent. And then it dropped down to 5 degrees, which is very cold <laughs> at night. And then it was cold for like the next three days. 
And now uh, tomorrow, I believe it's supposed to be up to 23 degrees during the day. And I don't know. This is the time when people get sick because of the difference in temperatures. Just as an update on the double-sided pearl embroidery video I just did. So someone had suggested in the comments to wash the beads to see if the color comes off. And I did that and I'm happy to say that they didn't just rinse off, that like the color didn't just rinse off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that kit as a beaded cross stitch kit instead of the double-sided pearl embroidery. And then I'll try that technique again, but I think I'll try it with some better quality beads. Something that's a little less frustrating. Even with pony beads, I think it would be a lot more fun. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I didn't have too much to say in this video, so I hope that you have relaxed and enjoyed. And yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!